What's going on YouTube? It's your boy John back again with another video. This video we're going to take a look at a dual lens dash cam by the folks over there at Blue Sky C. Um, yeah, Blue Sky C. And this is a dash cam that basically going to record the front of you, so out your windshield and the interior of your car. The best thing this would be for is, in my opinion, would be good for anybody who does any rideshare services. So if you do like Lyft, Uber, anything like that, this will be a good dash cam so you can see like, okay, there's accident in front of me. And you can also just have that security just in case something happens, you have video proof. Now, this shoots in uh, 1080p. It has a day and night mode, so you can, you know, helps with the glare and everything like that. The IR cut filter, so it's supposed to help with like the red tinge that some of these da interior dash cams give to see at like night. It's supposed to help with that. Wi-Fi, so you can just view the information directly from your smartphone, other than like taking out the SIM card or uh, taking out the SD card, putting in your phone, anything like that. So that would be helpful. And also has a twin screen, so you could play it back on the phone. And it has a G sensor, which basically, if you're driving, you get hit, it automatically locks in that footage, so you just don't have to worry about losing it. Now, I haven't opened this yet. Uh, only thing I did, I took off the wrapping because the glare from it is really it was really bright so i took off but i haven't opened it yet i haven't used it so you're gonna see what's inside for the first time just like me struggles real okay so presentation wise it's just a box some people complain about presentation like i really don't matter just as long as the packaging is sturdy so the product doesn't get damaged so um, off back, you get introduced with the, the mount installation. So you can obviously put it on your dash, um, not your dash, but you can put it on your windshield. Automatically we get the dash cam itself. I gotta admit, it's not the prettiest, you know, it, 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 but at the end of the day, does it get the job done is what really matters. You know, the safety factor, does it get the job done? Now, okay, so you can swivel, I guess the, the interior one, you can swivel that one. You see these little lights right here. So those are mostly for like, you know, the night vision, but basically seeing in a darker. So you can swivel it all the way here. So that's a good like angle. And this one, you can swivel all the way there. So this is the front one. So this one will be pointing out your windshield. So technically, you can have them both like this. So let's just say, for instance, you get pulled over and you just want to record your situation. You can kind of tilt it to your driver's side real quick. So you can view, you know, just, just if you want to view the encounter. This button up here is if, say, you're driving and you want to lock in a footage but you know, obviously it does automatically when you get hit and it senses the sudden movement, you could push this and it'll automatically lock it in. So that's good to have, you know. Now, let me see, weight wise, no, it's plastic, you know, but it doesn't feel completely cheap, but it feels sturdy to the point that, okay, I don't have to worry about it breaking. All right. So this is your, like a little insulation. So basically, so this will be to like, you know, try to tuck it in, pull down your headliner to install it. This should be the, obviously the suction cup. Okay, so, oh, I'd have to really look and see how you, I really should look at the structure and see how you take that off. Okay, comes with a 32 gig uh, memory card. That's good. Remember the times when memory cards were like really, really expensive? I remember I had a memory card and they were like, I had 16 gig and they were like $100 for a 16 gig mem um, micro SD card. Now you get one for like $10. All right, so this is the USB cable. So, okay, and could it has an actual extra port so you don't have to like lose it just to have this so usb this goes all the way around so go under your dash all the way around up to your headliner and this will plug in um this one's just a regular usb that you would use if you want to just take it out and put it on your computer just to transfer the stuff you know it's another option of getting the data off of it 
So there's quite a few options. You can use the app, you can use take out the micro SD card itself, or you can just take this whole thing and plug it in your computer, bring your computer in and plug it in your computer. All right. Let's see here. Okay, so these are just like, okay, if I'm right, these are like reference guides. So where areas that you can put it. So you put on your dash, or you can see you put on your dash like this. You can just put it right there. So in that general area, I guess. But uh, okay, this is pretty cool. So it's a sticker. You can't really tell. There's a sticker on here. It says warning. It shows a picture of this dash cam. It says dash camera audio and video recording but basically it's like a warning lane you know people know that okay there's a dash cam that's recording which is good so when these people get your car they know like hey you're on candy camera and installation or not installation but manual so let's basically go over and tell you everything you can do or you can't do you know so it's uh yeah, so this is gonna be uh, interesting. So what I'm gonna do, okay, you can connect to, you know what? Let's see. So you can connect it to a micro or a micro. You can connect it to a regular USB, and you could ch turn it on real quick without actually having to use the USB. Let's see if I could get this to work. Now it does use micro. USB, see, old school. Yeah, it's micro, right? Or a mini? Oh, wow. Okay, so it's telling me to insert the SD card. But yeah, so it's automatically start recording. I'm just trying to get to like the menu. I don't know. I gotta mess around with it. I'm gonna install it. I'm definitely gonna install it to see and compare it to the dash cam I currently have. And yeah, we'll see how that goes. So I'll see you guys in a few seconds from movie editing magic. Yes, I'll see you in a few seconds. All right, so this is the main feature of this dash cam is the interior cam. The exterior cam looks like a lot of most of the traditional dash cams out there. You know, if you forward, you can see the quality pretty good, you know, so you can record if there's an accident. But I just feel like the big selling point of this dash cam is, like I said on the unboxing, is the factor of the interior cam so you can record basically the whole interior. This is how it looks. I know I probably look like a ghost, like right now or anything like that but it's supposed to help with the quality of the camera when you're viewing inside so it has a ir filter so you remember on the unboxing it had the four little sensors around the camera that's supposed to help and switch the ir light well, the ir filter when it senses okay there's a lot of low light as there's more light or more daytime or anything like that it will switch and the camera will look like regular daytime which i'll post a you know, video of it looking for today but i just want to highlight this main feature because it is the prominent feature of the camera now also this is the quality of the audio so if you do want to record a conversation in the car if you want to record a conversation with law enforcement you know you get a ticket or anything like that you know if your state allows it um this helps you can also turn the camera so if you want to turn a little bit more just to get faces anything like that this helps like i showed the unboxing the camera light the camera rotates basically 90 degrees that way and it front one 90 degrees that way. so it's it's a pretty good uh swivel i can say in a way but this is this is what you see so i'll post some videos of the front cam on the day i'll post it next to my vfo a129 so you can compare and see how those are because they're roughly around the same price range but that's really it guys you know so if you like it i'll post a link down below you can pick one up and i'll tell you see you guys on the next one peace